marks a day where parkour, free running, and everything is starting to be taken more seriously, then it has more of an impact, especially on youth culture, than I think people realize. On the edge of the city, you find out who you really are. Playing Mirror's Edge for the first time really gives you a feel of, of being there. I think for people who don't do parkour or who don't do anything like this, it will really give them an idea of you know what it feels like to do some of this stuff. It's a good way to kind of understand it and see what it's like, feel what the adrenaline's like without actually uh, going out there and getting too ballsy on the first try, you know? It's exciting to see what we're doing in video games. You have to be quite precise in what you're doing like if you if you're taking the jump like a, a step to, a step back you're not going to make it and it's exactly how it is here when you're playing the game if you really feel like you're actually in the game doing those moves like when you're, she's running she's jumping you're like floating in the air and you see the concrete coming at you because it's this point of view is from faith you're always looking at bits and pieces going i wonder what that'll be like i wonder what that'll be like so it's loads of fun there's a lot of pipes, a lot of scaffolding, lots of lead-ups and ramps. When she rules, you can see blurs, blur effects, and all these little things that just add up to a, a, a pretty realistic, you know, feeling. When she's climbing, you can feel her climbing up. It just felt fluid and just felt great to play it. This game starts off with the first level in a financial district, which you expect it to be very clean, very pristine. I think it kind of hints at uh, sort of a future where everything is controlled and everything is you know, surveyed and everything's being monitored, which in a way is where everything at the moment is heading. Her techniques, the way she's uh, getting around is really cool and uh, very easy to control her. She's easy on the eye. I think she's easily going to be the next, the next uh, sought after game heroine. It's kind of cool to see a girl doing it because there's not very many of them and uh, she's a good one. It's not a violent activity. I think it shows that in the game because you're always discarding weapons to be able to move freely. And at the end, it's just people who want to move, people who just enjoy moving, who enjoy movement, and um, who want to just you know be themselves and not have everything controlled for them. Really cool game, very good graphics, and just a blast to play all around. Addictive, very addictive. The way the game is made, the style of the game is just insane, it's just another level.